A clock so massive that it can be seen from seven kilometers away, with a crescent so grand it houses the world's largest prayer room and a tower that stands as a marvel of faith and engineering. This is the Mecca Royal Clock Tower, a 601-meter tall tower in the heart of Mecca and a record-breaking icon of the modern world. But how is this marvel built, and what secrets does it hold? We'll cover all of that today. To understand the significance of the Mecca Royal Clock Tower, we must take a journey back in time. Mecca, one of the holiest cities in Islam, has been a place of pilgrimage for centuries. But as the world's population grew, so did the demand for modern infrastructure, especially around the sacred Masjid al-Haram, home to the Kaaba. In the early 2000s, as Saudi Arabia invested in large-scale projects to accommodate the millions of pilgrims visiting Mecca each year, a bold idea began to take shape to create a structure that would symbolize both the rich history of Islam and the forward-looking ambitions of the kingdom. So it was in 2004 that construction began on what would become the Abraj al-Bayt complex, a group of seven skyscrapers just steps away from the Grand Mosque, and the tallest and most prominent among these towers that would soon capture global attention, the Mecca Royal Clock Tower. The project, led by the Saudi Bin Laden Group, was part of a broader initiative to modernize the city and transform it into a global hub for tourism and commerce. And after careful planning in 2007, the decision was made to add a massive clock to the top of the tower. Basically, the idea was to create the largest clock in the world. By 2012, the dream had been realized. The Mecca Royal Clock Tower was officially completed, standing at 601 meters tall with a 43 meter wide clock face, that could be seen from miles around, but its construction didn't come without controversy. Built on the site of the 18th century Ajiad Fortress, a structure some considered a symbol of Ottoman rule, the tower's construction led to debates over preserving Mecca's historic landmarks. However, the Saudi government justified the decision, emphasizing the need for modern facilities to accommodate the growing number of pilgrims. Now, building the Mecca Royal Clock Tower wasn't just about creating a tall structure, it was about overcoming monumental challenges engineering, environmental, and cultural. This project was nothing short of a colossal feat. First, let's talk about the location itself. Mecca is one of the busiest and holiest places on Earth, and when you're constructing something that's right next to the Kaaba, the stakes are incredibly high. Building the tower meant working within a dense, historic area with narrow streets, crowded courtyards, and limited access points. Transporting the enormous materials and equipment was pretty challenging. Speaking of materials, the extreme temperatures in Mecca created another hurdle. With temperature fluctuations of up to 70 degrees Celsius between day and night, the team had to ensure the materials could withstand such drastic changes. The glass mosaic tiles had to be specially designed to reflect UV light. The glass mosaic tiles had to be specially designed to reflect UV light and endure intense heat without cracking or fading. That's where the composite materials came into play. The clock faces and hands were constructed from layers of carbon fiber even consisting of 150 layers in some places, making them incredibly light yet strong. The hands themselves weigh 12 tons, and remember they're 22 meters long, which meant designing a clock movement that could handle the immense weight and forces at play. Then there was the design itself. The clock faces, measuring 43 meters across, are made up of 600 glass fiber reinforced panels, each covered in millions of custom-made mosaic tiles. So, to make sure everything was precise, engineers consulted with specialists in various fields, even working with boat building experts to figure out how to assemble and handle the massive carbon fiber elements. The clock movement was another beast entirely. With a weight of 21 tons, it's the heaviest in the world. However, designing and building a clock that would still function smoothly at such heights was a huge engineering challenge. Not only did the clock have to be precise, but it had to be resilient against the high winds at such an altitude. Then there's the crescent at the very top of the spire. This 23 meter high crescent, made entirely of carbon fiber, was the largest in the world. Its installation was a massive undertaking. The crescent had to be lifted into place using helicopters and it's completely column free inside, creating the largest prayer room in the world. And the tower wasn't just about aesthetics. Sustainability played a key role in the design. To reduce its environmental footprint, 288 solar collectors were installed at the tip of the spire, with over 11,000 photovoltaic cells that power the clock's units and help sustain the building's operations. And the final challenge, lightning. Mecca is known for its frequent lightning strikes, so the Mecca Royal Clock Tower had to be equipped with a state-of-the-art lightning protection system. That is why over 800 lightning conductors were installed to safeguard the structure from nature's fury. 
Despite all these hurdles, the Mecca Royal Clock Tower was completed on time. However, even this giant structure hasn't been immune to disaster. Since the tower's opening, the Abraj al Bayt complex has experienced several fires, most notably in the early years of its existence. One of the most significant fires occurred in 2015, just a few years after the tower was completed. A blaze broke out on the upper floors of the building, specifically on one of the hotel towers that make up the Abraj al Bayt complex. The fire caused extensive damage and raised alarms over the fire safety measures in place at such a massive structure. Firefighters responded quickly and thankfully there were no fatalities, but the incident brought the issue of fire safety at the tower into sharp focus. And the 2015 fire wasn't the only one. Over the years, smaller fires have been reported across the complex. While none have caused catastrophic damage, the frequency of these incidents has left many questioning whether the fire prevention systems are sufficient. The building is equipped with state-of-the-art fire safety systems, including sprinkler systems, emergency exits, and fire-resistant materials. However, due to the sheer size and complexity of the structure, preventing and controlling fires remains a challenge. The clock tower is built with a combination of high-tech composites, traditional materials, and innovative designs, each chosen to meet the challenges posed by extreme weather conditions and the scale of the project. To start with, the clock faces are covered in custom-made glass mosaic tiles, 98 million individual tiles to be exact. These tiles come in six different colors, covering a total of 46,000 square meters of surface area. Now let's talk about the backbone of the tower, the steel structure. The Mecca Royal Clock Tower is supported by a steel framework that extends all the way up to the top of the building, where the spire and crescent are positioned. The tower's load-bearing base consists of four V-shaped supports that stabilize the entire structure. Above the clock faces, these supports taper and merge into conical steel beams, which transfer the loads from top to bottom, ensuring stability even in high winds. The frame was designed using composite profiles made of high-strength steel and concrete, which helped to reduce the weight of the tower while maximizing its load capacity. Behind the scenes, a number of companies were involved in bringing this architectural marvel to life. The primary architects and engineers responsible for the design and construction were Dar al Hendesa, a leading firm known for its innovative projects. They worked alongside the structural engineers at SL Rash, who specialized in designing complex structures like the Mecca Clock Tower. To make the world's largest clock a reality, SL Rash consulted with Parrot, a renowned clock manufacturer based in Germany. Together, they designed the heaviest clock movement in the world. With such massive clock faces, it was crucial that the clock's components could handle the weight and ensure precision. To achieve the necessary precision, a state-of-the-art automated system was set up for prefabricating and assembling the composite elements. The system used advanced computer software to ensure the composite materials, mosaic tiles, and light sources were perfectly aligned. Each piece of the tower, from the intricate glass mosaics to the state-of-the-art solar panels, was meticulously crafted and installed by some of the most skilled workers in the world. And ever since it opened, the Mecca Royal Clock Tower has served as a central landmark for millions of pilgrims visiting the sacred city of Mecca every year. Located just steps away from the Masjid al-Haram and the Kaaba, this clock tower acts as a point of reference guiding travelers and marking the passage of time for those in the city. And that's not all. This clock helps keep Mecca on track with a second, local time standard. Muslims around the world, from New York to Jakarta, synchronize their activities with the time shown on the Mecca clock tower. Whether it's prayer times, fasting during Ramadan, or the beginning of a new day, this clock has become an essential part of global Muslim life. But there's more to this tower than just telling time. Behind the clock faces, within the tower itself, lies an important cultural and educational center. The tower is also home to a multi-story facility that houses a cosmology research center and public exhibition rooms. Here, visitors can learn about the development of time measurement in Islamic history, with exhibits on the science behind the tower's construction, the history of the Quran, and how Islamic timekeeping traditions have evolved over the centuries. The tower also hosts the Mecca Time Institute, which works in partnership with over 50 time institutes worldwide to ensure that the timekeeping system in Mecca is synchronized with the global UTC network. One of the unique features of the tower is the Lunar Center, which is dedicated to studying the moon's phases and their significance in the Islamic calendar. The center plays a key role in tracking important events like the beginning of Ramadan, Hajj, and other Islamic observances. With a state-of-the-art equipment, the center helps provide the most accurate lunar sightings, which are critical for marking key dates in the Islamic calendar. However, the clock tower's role isn't just limited to timekeeping. It's also a beacon of light. Illuminated at night, the Mecca Royal Clock Tower stands as a guiding light for pilgrims visible from miles away. 
Whether it's marking prayer times, guiding millions of pilgrims, or contributing to the scientific and educational landscape of the city, the tower plays a vital role in the daily life of Mecca. And that's how the Mecca Royal Clock Tower continues to serve the people of Mecca and the global Muslim community, keeping time, preserving history, and illuminating the way forward. Have you seen the Mecca Royal Clock Tower in person, or is it on your travel bucket list? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content on iconic landmarks around the world.